hey, long time no see. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. At this rate, probably never. However, what I do know, I am still Angie. This is still Four of Beauty. You are still more than welcome. And although I've not been filming, my passion for buying makeup has not ceased. I've had to get hubby to give me a hand uh, because. Oh, I'll, I'll hang on your toes. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Uh, come down a little bit. Put your head in. Come down. Hello. So, can you see? Just yeah. quite. Yeah, We've don't. got one, two, three boxes, which are all completely full. You really do need to. Um, Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and get comfy. Because I've got to go through this lot now. See you after the wibbly bit. Hi. <laughs> Whew, right, okay. I'm going to start with this box here, which is overflowing, as you can see. So, um, I got really knocked because the company that I was getting my really nice makeup brushes from, my Royal and Langnickel ones, um, they did have a UK distributor, which was awesome, because it meant no import fees, no ridiculously expensive shipping costs, uh, and they were really good quality. Um, brushes as well. They have since closed the UK site um, and last time I checked they still hadn't put UK as a destination on their American site so I lost my temper. So I have been buying mucho mucho brushes to try and find ones that are as close quality as possible um, for as sensible as price as possible. So first ones I've got here, these are from Doll Beauty and I have got this is the doesn't have a name or a number on it that's really helpful Doll Beauty, thanks but it's a small what I would use for inner corner or under brow highlight, which I actually haven't done today. I'm trying a different look. I don't know if I like it. I'm still determining. Mm. So, right, Chris, just ignore it. Just ignore it, love. Okay. Right, my okay. phone going off in the other room. And then the other doll beauty one that I've got is I might have to give these to you because otherwise I'm going to end up. This is a big old fluffy blender. As you can see, it's already got some loose bristles coming out, but I kind of expect that to be on this first time you use a brush. Uh, then I've got these two from um, Practic. P-R-A-C-T-K by Sigma. Uh, I have got the it will come out. The small pencil brush. Mm. Yeah, you're chucking those places. Okay. You don't have to whisper. Oh well, yeah, of course. They do know you're here. It might be a library. <laughs> and then this is what they call the small blending brush, which is just slightly flattened on one side. It's not the sort of properly circular rounded brushes that I tend to use for blending, but anyway. First palette to show you. Obviously, I am not going to be swatching everything because. We'd still be here for my next birthday, 
Mm, by the way, had a birthday. 48 now. Two years away from 50. Mm. So I thought I'd cover the greys with a wig today. What do you think? You like? It's a new one. It's pretty. Right. Um, Nomad. Berlin Underground. Which looks a little bit like this. Nice grungy. This will be nice any time of year. But especially come autumn or fall with those sort of golds and russets and that green in there. So it's just... Slightly more muted than what I normally go for. Okay. Then I did a Lethal Cosmetics Berlin 89. Now when you buy Lethal individual shadows they're normally about this big. These are slightly smaller which I'm actually quite pleased with because there's no way you were going to get through, and especially with the amount of bloody palettes I've got, there's no way I'm going to get through all of my shadows. So this is the Berlin Underground, and it has their first multi-chromine, which is this one here. I will swatch the multi-chrome, which is called Breakthrough, and it's kind of a a green to gold to kind of a red colour. Hopefully that's coming across well. So that's my Berlin Underground 89. Not Berlin Underground at all. It's because the other one was a Berlin Underground. This is Berlin 89. Berlin Underground? No. Berlin Underground? Yeah. <laughs> and of course 89 is the year the Berlin Wall came down. <gasps> I picked up some more brushes from AliExpress. The supplier that I used to get mine from is no longer selling. You find that a lot with AliExpress, unfortunately. You'll just find you know, something that you like in terms of like a brush series or whatever and then the seller will, press, the seller will disappear mm. so the trick is there is if you like them, get them quick so it's got a little miniature fan brush a double ended blending and liner brush another little double ended lining and blending brush and then two different size blenders. So I should give those a go, see if they're any good. If they are any good, I'll, um, I'll put a link to them in a future film so that you know that they're okay. Um, I keep seeing these self-adhesive lashes being advertised where you don't need to use glue to apply them. And that's one of the main reasons that I don't really wear false lashes because the glues, I have to get a specific type of glue that's low odour and low, low sulphur and all that sort of thing because otherwise my eyes just stream like mad. So I picked up this pair to try, which are the self-adhesive lashes. Genuinely, absolutely no idea how I'm going to get on with those. I will have to keep you updated. Uh, another one of these nine pan ones from Colourpop. I've resisted buying this for so long, but in the end someone was selling it on Depop for a ridiculously cheap price. So I picked up this all teal palette. This is Unique Beauty. This, I think this was one of their Christmas ones. This is the Dark Souls palette. Which looks like this. How gorgeous is that? Is that not just my colour scheme? Hello. And they spell unique. E-U-N-I-Q-U-E. And I've heard so many people say, oh, it's E-Unique. No. 
No, it's not. Um, I've been wanting to try some of these Fenty Snap shadows. I keep hearing some people like them, some people don't. So I've picked up two different ones. I've got this one, which is um, number 10, which is Money Shade, which I know, greens and golds. I just. I'm going through a green phase, what can I say? I discovered that greens actually make my eyes look quite nice, so there we go. Then I picked up this set at Christmas. This is a combination of stuff that I bought from overseas, uh, either Black Friday or Christmas. Things I bought from Christmas and things I bought so far this year, which long story I'll, I'll do a get ready with me at some point and tell you exactly where I've been and what's been going on uh, but this was a another one of the snap shadows this one is called hollow days and she's very pretty she looks like that you all know I much prefer smaller palettes and it comes with a little mini Fenty mascara to try, which is lovely. Because I am wanting to try some new mascaras. I've actually got quite a few new ones over here to try. Um, I've got this one from Lash Alert to try. I've got this one from Sport FX Sport Stamina, that's a waterproof one. Um, I've got a Monsieur Big from Longcomb, a little travel size one to try. And oh, that's a liquid eyeliner, that's not a mascara. Okay. So I've got quite a few over there to try at the moment. But you have to change them every three to four months anyway, so I rarely finish a mascara. I normally end up having to throw it because it's gone out of date before I actually end up using it. So um, One of the companies that I want to try this year, I haven't done that film yet, I'll do it soon, is Unicorn Cosmetics. Now I did manage to pick up a couple of their palettes last year, haven't used them yet. And then they did a special offer on their highlighters called Glow Ting. Uh, this one. Hi, darling. Hello. You can come in the screen if you want. Okay. My sexy helper, you say. Ah, yes. Ooh, take that. This is. Uh, yes, please. This is in shade Lit Up. And it's looking like that, which is a white based with sort of pinky peachy shift to it. Right. And then I have another one called Glow Go. I did have a third one as well, but that was uh, way too deep for my skin tone. But I do love the fact that an indie brand is catering for deeper skin tones. I think that's brilliant. This is their sort of champagne-y. That's probably going to be borderline for me, but I think if it is too dark, I can always mix it with the other one to lighten it up. Um, or use it as an underbrow highlight. Uh, another new indie brand I'm trying is um, they're called Cosmic Brushes. I bought brushes from them before which I tried and I liked um, and they have this palette called Royal Rose. Yes I roll my R's like that because I'm Welsh and this is a very, very pretty. This reminds me an awful lot 
of the Jeffrey Jawbreaker. Is it Jawbreaker palette? A really bright one that he did. I can't even remember for the life of me now if that's what it was called, it probably wasn't. Um, but I like I like this, it's got a nice balance of mattes and shimmers, so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Um, I've got a couple of other Luna Beauty palettes, as I'm sure regular viewers will know, since he came off my shit list. Um, and I managed to find someone selling a Strawberry Dream for a sensible price. This one did arrive busted in the post, but I, what I go to school for, uh, repressed it. So again, that's nice. It's going to be great coming into the summer for your brights and whatever. I have another Nomad one, as well as my Berlin one. This is the Haunted Europe, where... The actual cover changes depending on the angle you're at, the picture. And this again, very, very much my bag in terms of colours. Um, to be honest, there's not really many I won't wear. I, I, I do have neutrals and I do have some neutrals that I like, but in terms of colours, there's just depends what mood I'm in really as to what I feel like doing. But as you can see this is really really grungy and earthy and pretty. So that can go with my try not to trap my wig in it. Go with my other nomad palette. Early underground first one that I did. <laughs> Hub is now fascinated by the changing picture on the front. Um, I decided I was going to get some Pat McGrath palettes to try to find out if they're really worth what everyone says they are. So I've got this one which is the uh, Mothership Rose Decadence. Again I picked these up from Depop. I did not pay full price for them. I would not pay full price for them. I don't that's the point in paying full price on it. You know, they're just pressed pigments basically. So that's that one. And then someone was selling the Mothership Four Decadence palette. I mean, this is so heavy. You could feel like that. Oh, that's a. Uh it's Substantial. It you could use that to hammer a nail in. I wouldn't. Bloody expensive palette. Um, and that's what this one looks like. It's uh, it's definitely one of the colour schemes of hers that are fewer neutrals and more pops of colour. You've got the blues, the orange. Uh, this one here looks quite interesting. So I've got some Pat McGraths I can try, see if they're really worth the, the hype. You know, I've got my Natasha Denona's, I like the little mini ones of hers, but I wouldn't say they're any better than, you know, some indie brands that I've got, to be quite frank. Uh, I've got another one of these house laboratories or laboratories quads. This is number four. Disco. She looks like this. So very very nice. Definitely my colour schemes. Uh, so obviously the case can just go now and off the top. Um, I picked this up from Revolution Double X. And it's, um, it's water activated liners, so similar to the other ones that I've got. And Hubby just told me there's a brush in there that I hadn't taken out. You see, this is one of the things I love about him, his attention to detail. <laughs> so there's a brush in there with it and these. Um, 
So yeah, I just, I liked the hot pink and the purple and the orange and I thought they'd be quite nice for the summer. Not, still not quite sure how I feel about the water activated ones because once I start getting hot and bothered, are they going to start sliding off my face? This is always a possibility. Right, uh, BH Cosmetics picked up their base booster glitter and shadow glue because it's always useful to have a second one of those. Now that can stay there, love. Okay. And I picked up some more hourglass, the um, Confessions lipsticks that are in like a stiletto shaped Ujima flip. And I've got this one which is I live for. Just give me a bit of a swatch of that one. And then this one which is I believe. But the one I'm most excited about is this one. Now, the majority of red lipsticks, I'm wearing my Mac Ruby Woo, in case you're wondering. The uh, majority of red lipsticks. Ruby Woo? No, Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo. Oh, right. Ruby Woo. Mm, Ruby Woo. <laughs> love my husband <laughs> um, used carmine in the past or also known as cochineal for those of you who do not know that is basically ground down beetles and their shells Shellac. to get the shade of red that <laughs> was classed as the classic Hollywood red and um, they've been uh, makeup companies have been trying for a long time to be able to dupe it in a cruelty free, not necessarily vegan, but certainly in a cruelty free variety. And this is one that Hourglass have called Red Zero. And they think, well, they say they have done it. Uh, I'm just having a look. Does it, does it say it's big at all back? I don't know. But it's definitely cruelty free. It's got a little beetle on the packaging. It has. It's not going to. It's not going to stay in this particular packaging. This was just the initial launch. Red packaging. Hello. <laughs> With a beetle on the packaging. See. Doesn't mean it's not a not a blunt cut Liverpudlian no. singing. We only in a yellow submarine. This is a different kind of beetle. So, oh, all they have. Oh, looking forward to wearing this one. So that's the three that I've just swatched, and Red Zero is that top one. Now if I don't wipe those off of there, I'm going to end up with lipstick in places that I don't particularly want lipstick to be. Um, I've got a Lord and Berry lip pencil in a red, so I might give that a go and see what it's like. I picked up a MAC limited edition, Pure Luck. It's the... Um, it's my year, my Chinese year. It's my year every year, darling. Uh, but it's the Chinese year of the dragon. No, it's the Chinese year of the tiger. I was born in the year of the tiger and the hour of the dragon. It's great. Wrong tiger. Other cereals are available. <laughs> um, and I love this. They did for the Chinese New Year with the, dra the, the tiger around it. And this is the shade of it. Oh, isn't that lush? Can you not just see me rocking that this summer? Of course you can. You know I'm going to. You know it's going to happen. And you know I need to wipe that back off again. Uh, what was this? Right, um, 
another one of the brands that I want to try this year. Again, I will try and get that film up soon for you. Is uh, Glaminatrix from Australia. And I managed to get hold of their Silent Night palette. Which was not that easy because it sold out like that. Oh, is it mined? <laughs> but look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that stunning? And I just have to swatch this shade here called Fairy Lights and this one here, Baubles. Look. Can you, can you see that? Do you see the shine on that? <gasps> Cannot wait to play with that one! Works out quite expensive because obviously indie brand so it costs more because they produce uh, fewer quantities. Um, also coming from Australia. Thankfully we, I didn't get hit with any in, uh, import tax with that. Whether it's because they're part of the Commonwealth, I'm not sure. I was expecting to get import tax, but I didn't. I think they signed a deal with them. Did they? Yeah, to try and make up for their heinous mishaps. Oh. <laughs> yes. And then I have, um, in one of the Beauty Bay regular mm. sales they've been having, I picked up some <laughs> more brushes. I told you I was going to get those brushes. This is BH Cosmetics, this is their vegan line. This is the V5 brush. Which looks like this. And it is a blending brush. And then I have a fluffy blending and a fluffy crease brush. So, let's start with the uh, fluffy blending brush. I'm sitting on the nerve and my legs gone dead. No, 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 no. I just thought I'd share that with you in a musical manner. Okay. So, uh, that feels really nice actually. I do like the H brushes. All those before they um, went to the wall and got bought out by Revolution. Mm -hmm. I really hope Revolution don't change the formulas of BH Cosmetics uh, shadows because their shadows are far better than Revolution's shadows are. And, um, mm. and then my coup de gras that's going to live there darling my coup de gras. Those of you who've watched me for a while will remember that um, I did a dupe palette for the Melt Moerte palette because I wanted it. And by the time I'd saved up to get the Moerte and Vida palettes, they were sold out. And they were limited edition, and unlike Gemini, they didn't bring them back. And most people were selling them for ridiculous prices. Now, I don't know whether the girl that was selling these knew what she had or just didn't care, or was just a genuinely nice person. But she was selling these for 50 quid, for both of them. Vida, Moete, and they are magnetic, so they're held together, and you can see the the uh, covers complete the skull. Mm. Yeah, good. So I'm majorly, majorly excited. At some point, I will, if you're interested, do a look comparing. Muerte with my dupe palette and just see how close I got. But this is the Melt Vida palette. Oh, matron! Darling. 
paper. And this is the Moerte. Happy Bunny. First box done. I'm going to get up, have a bit of a wiggle, which I will cut out because you don't need to see me wiggling. And then when I come back, I'll be on box number two of the three. Ah, so three boxes. Does that include the... the Happy got me a custard. Does that include the glossy box? Mm-hmm. So that's counted as the three boxes. Ah, of course. Indeed it is. Right, see you after this wibbly wobbly jiggly bit that isn't actually me wibbly wobbling and jiggling. Call me jiggly. Jiggly. <laughs> jiggly caliente. Okay. Box number two. My sexy assistant is still here. Hello. I'm still mm. here. He gets chin scratches when he helps out because he likes that. He's like a pussy cat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on my search for the ultimate brush, a company called By Jungle. So I've got an M1, which is like a. I think that's soft, that is. Ooh, bunny bum brush. Mm. Bunny bum brush. Bunny bunny uh, bum brush. It's, it's like a pencil brush, but it's a little bit thicker. The M2 is a really tiny crease brush. That would be great for, especially if you've got hooded lids. The M3, which is a slightly larger blending brush. Uh, the M6, another blender. Slightly different from the three, as you can see, ever so slight difference in size. And then I've got two of the M14 blenders to try. See, having this many brushes is, in one way, it's brilliant because you can film loads and loads and loads and loads and loads without having to worry about washing your brushes. But then when you have to wash your brushes, you've got enough brushes to wash. To fill the Hoover Dam three times over. Um, these are again ones that I've tried from AliExpress. These are natural haired brushes. These are goat hair. Uh, and surprisingly for goat hair, they're actually Phil. Come here, my assistant. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Who knows? I'm here. Okay. How soft. Very nice. Yeah. Normally, uh, natural hair. <laughs> he puts up with me. I don't know how he does, bless him. Uh, normally natural head bristles can be a little bit prickly. These are super soft, which is awesome. And then... I picked up these three. Which I believe... are also natural hair, but I think they were horse. <laughs> there we go. Um, and I've got, again, really nice blending. I just I really like these shapes. I haven't got many this shape in this size. I've I've got them in this size for putting highlighter on and stuff. But uh, this will be great for really smoking out through the inner crease there. So I've got those to try. I got a number seven a Stay Perfect liquid eyeliner in 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 silver shimmer, and it's a um, like a gunmetal grey. So that's epic. I need to try and get back into wearing eyeliner again. I my look was always smoky eye. Eyeliner, crap ton of mascara, and red lips. That was my look for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. Didn't change, remained the same the whole time. Um, I picked up this Fenty highlighter. I've been after it for a while. Technically, it's too dark for me to use as a highlighter. It's 
designed for someone who has way more melatonin than I do. However, I want to use them. I'm mm -hmm. Break it I down. want to use them as shimmery blushes. And they are Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. Very nice, babe. Oh, very nice. Ooh. So, yay. Darling, oh, can we get the Fenties, please? Now, if you've been watching my Retro Review series that I've been doing with Alexis, you will know that we did one where she used the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm and I used the shorter one, which I think was Celestial Thunder, that came free in a BoxyCharm. I say it's free. It was included in a BoxyCharm one month, which my lovely friend Shari sent me. I have been super tempted by the full size one. I love the little one, and that will be one where I'll take that if we go away somewhere, because it's nice and small and it's compact. But I had been very tempted by the main one. And again, found someone on Depop selling it for a sensible price. So, picked this up. I just love these sort of orange and russets at this end. And I know Nona's going to want to see me using those. Maybe. Now, long-term viewers will know I don't normally use Huda on my channel. Because I don't agree with some of her practices. However, there is one thing I had been looking for for ages and wanting, and it was always out of stock. And Hubby found it for our anniversary. Well, you found it, I technically just paid for it. Head lips! <laughs> Which will eventually end up probably here because of me being renowned for my red lips. But inside the tin is a lipstick a lip liner and a little mini lip gloss so super super happy with that because once I finished using the items within it I got me a lovely piece of wall art to continue with my theme I have had some lovely compliments on people that have been watching some of my older films um, where obviously I've not been filming much at all this year to be honest um, and they're saying they really appreciate the changes that I've been making to my background. Um, you know, with the rainbow umbrellas for the okay. LGBTQIA plus community, of which I am a part, obviously. I say obviously, if you're new you wouldn't know, I'm Pan. Which basically means I don't care if you're male, I don't care if you're female, I don't care if you're trans male. Trans female, androgynous, <laughs> whatever. I okay. fall in love with the person, not the shell that's around them. Just so happened, mm -hmm. I fell in love with this particular mm -hmm. gorgeous hunk. Mm -hmm. Hunky chunky man! Mm. Oh, I left my shell over there. <laughs> Michelle, when did Michelle arrive? Not, not Michelle, my shell. Huh? Okay, yeah. I can hide inside it and crawl around for anything. Those of now. you who know will know that me that I belong to a part of are renowned for bad cracker jokes. Right. Um, along with the other um, palettes that I've been looking for, this is another glam light one that I have been wanting. And it's got the oven case and everything. And it's the cake palette. Which looks like that. Now I know, I know, I keep saying I don't like big palettes and I don't, but I really like that. And I, I can't decide whether it's you know, I could end up just putting this up on the wall to be quite honest. Um who knows with me? Genuinely, who blooming well knows? Hubby's managed to 
drop all kinds of crap in my box. I say, is that a euphemism? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> um, a little bit of friend mail from my lovely friend up in Scotland, Will, my uh, Mary Scottish Viking, um, and he sent me some lovely little notes with them as well. Now, he has given me a nickname which means an awful lot because I know how deep his love for Lady Gaga goes, Mother Monster. He has called me Mother Makeup. So he couldn't really pay me a higher compliment if he tried. Um, and he insisted that because of all the, the help I've given him and advice I've given him and I sent him a lot of, um, I did a declutter last, I sent him a load of palettes and highlighters and blushes and things. Because I said, until you know whether there's a specific colour that you like, or if you want brights, or if you want deeps, or if you want nudes, there's no point in spending out a fortune to find out when I've got all of these palettes here that are just going to sit around doing nothing. Um, I'd much rather you use them if you don't get any use out of them, pass them on to other people who can. But if not, they'll at least give you a starting point to work out and play with colours and, and you know just play with textures and blending and just you know build your skills um, and he sent me this gorgeous Le Rock Pro palette look at that now I have got a collab planned with him we planned it ages ago uh, bless his heart but uh, my health and whatever it's been put on the back burner but I will most likely be using this particular palette in our collab wheel just to let you know, sweetie. Right, thank you, darling. He also sent me, because he tried my recommendation of the antiperspirant face primer. Unfortunately, it didn't work with his skin, so he sent me almost a damn near full tube of this which is awesome love 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 so it's me buying my back up he sent me this Primark smokescreen palette which again really really nice cool toned smoky perfect size for travelling you know sticking in your overnight bag for example what do you think babe? very nice darling very nice yeah. Very sort of neutral one though. Yeah. And he sent me a Physician's Formula Butter Blush in shade Natural Glow. Because I'm so natural. And glow. So natural. <laughs> and then he sent me a little surprise that I wasn't expecting. Um, he'd asked me a question saying if I was going to get a personalised something, would I put Angie on it or my nickname Bomber or would I have 4F Beauty? And I said, well, it depends on what it's for. I said, if it's for makeup, I'd probably use 4F Beauty. Next thing I know, in the post, I get this. Ooh. And in this, with a nice gonzo bag, is a little handbag mirror with 4F Beauty on it. So when I'm opening and using it, you can still see the 4F Beauty is the right way up. So, thank you my lovely, this is uh, going to be extremely useful on my channel and as always you know how much I appreciate you, um, that was, that's really special though, that's, that's something you put 
a lot of thought into and I do really appreciate that. You know I always appreciate when people give things thought. Now, um, long term viewers will know one of the indie brands that I've been shouting about from very early days is September Rose. Um, the I started off with the slush palette and was blown away with the quality. Even now, if I want a bright palette, I'll go to that one because I know I can rely on the pigments. I know they're going to blend and they're going to blend quickly and they're not going to skip and they're not going to catch. Um, and bless her heart, she gave me a discount code right back at the very beginning even before i had 500 subs she gave me a discount code to use um at the beginning i earned nothing from it i didn't want to earn anything from it it was a discount that i could pass on for all of my lovely 4f family to use and if it sent her more sales through then fantastic that's great marvelous um and after a while she messaged me saying look you are sending me so many additional sales I have to give you something so um, she then said she would send me a commission I've been all above board with all of that and she sent me her newest palette now I did get this before it was even shown on Instagram and I'm so sorry darling that I didn't get round to filming with it before um, but my health, physical and mental, has it's not been good. But this is the Still Pretty palette, inspired by her mother. Isn't that stunning? Now, if you are an ex Jeffree Star fan, who's missing being able to use blood sugar and she sent me this for free she would not let me pay her for it which I my smack was gobbed she also included a waterproof black eyeliner Nourishing gel like formula with vitamin E, rich and intense colour payoff, blendable and long lasting. And it's one of these ones. So it's one that you can use to tight line and you know, line the inner rim of your eye as well as doing um, a wind liner with it and then smoking it out. If you feel brave enough. Another House Labs one that I bought. Another one of their quads. Quads. This one is called Runaway. No, Runaway, not Runaway. This one is Runaway. She looks like that. There you go, though. Now, ages ago, I'd been using. Have I still got it? Yes. Right. I had been using the number seven airbrush away translucent finishing powder, which originally was in this black packaging like this black oval packaging looks like that this is a great pressed powder um, if I'm having a particularly crepey under eye day I'll use this instead of loose powder to set my under eye um, number seven then went from this packaging when people were, were comparing it to the Natasha Denona 
finishing powder. And a lot of big beauty girls got on board and were saying it's absolutely the same, it saves you a fortune. You could not get this for, for love nor money. It was the minute it hit the shelves it was gone. Um, and then they changed the packaging from this this black to a silver chrome packaging, which was okay, but I prefer this because the silver chrome packaging really, really showed up fingerprints. And then for a long time they weren't restocking it, and I'm like, oh, don't tell me they're not going to do it anymore. No, they've decided they were going to change the packaging again. And I've got to be honest, this compared to that, and compared to the chrome, just looks cheap and tacky. It's, we've gone from the beautiful oval to a circle, like everybody else's pressed powders. The compact itself feels very flimsy and cheap, and it looks cheap. The design is just... I picked it up because I wanted to see whether it's the same formula as um, the previous one, so I can let you know, and I'll, I'll give you an update on that at some point soon. But, yeah, I'm less than impressed. Less than impressed with that at completely. I think they've. I don't know whether they got a. It's too similar to our packaging from Natasha Denona. Um, and they had to change it, but that just looks cheap and tacky. It really does. It doesn't compare at all to did, the previous two. Did they say no, 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 no to the design? Excuse me, I'm just going to go and tickle the husband. Tickle the husband, tickle the husband. I don't think I should Okay, uh, I picked up three colourful Revolution liners. Again, these were on sale in Beauty Bay, so I don't know if they're discontinuing the colours or this was last season's, but it's like a mustardy yellow a cornflower blue and a lilac so as I said I need to get back into doing liner again I stopped for, for quite a while so I definitely need to restart oh these are two more things that um, Will sent me he sent me a Stargazer plush purple individual shadow and a wet and wild blush in pinch me pink I knew there was some more I just didn't realise they'd fallen further down in the box Oof. I have finally managed to get hold of Black Moon Cosmetics lipstick this is one of their ones that came in the coffin boxes Again, someone was selling it on Depop, didn't have the coffin box, sadly. Um, this is the shade Trick or Treat, which hasn't even been used. But, it's a really nice, sort of terracotta -y shade. Uh, perfect. Back of my hand is still covered from sparkles from that uh, laminatrix shadow. I picked up another mini Natasha to Nona. This is the mini retro. I really like her little five pans. Um, they're really easy to travel with. They're, they're great in terms of what makeup look am I going to do? I've only got five shadows to choose from. Makes it really quick doing in the morning. It really does. Uh, another Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter. This one is in shade Chills. <gasps> it's this gorgeous baby blue with um, Almost like a lilac-y, shifty, shimmery, glittery bit in it. So, 
This can go with the other Finky stuff, my darling Pinky. I picked up the Viseart Trist palette. I've been wanting this for quite a while. Um, found someone on Depop selling it for a sensible price. This is their neutral but leaning towards purple palette. I like Viseart's quality um, and again they're a good size to travel with. I have picked up the Ilamasqua Hydra Veil Primer or what? as Bridget Porcelain would say Ilamasqua. No she calls it Alamasqua. Alamasqua that's it. It's where the llamas go squaw and all hang out. The reason I've picked this up is no. because I have noticed recently, I don't know whether it's because I'm approaching... 40. Menopause. Shh, say it quietly and we'll pretend it's still a decade away. But you know, I'm 48. It, it's going to happen soon. Um, I have noticed that I'm getting a lot more dry skin on my... I've always had dry skin on my body, that's, that's always been the case. But my scalp has always been oily and my, my face has always been oily combo. Um, recently I've found that although my hair is still getting greasy, I'm getting really dry flaky patches that even head and shoulders aren't touching. So I'm trying um, <laughs> scalp scrubs and moisturising shampoos and just using a lot more dry shampoo uh, because obviously using a moisturising shampoo does not help when you have greasy hair um, but because I've started to get the drier patches I've been using my Bobbi Brown um, Enriched Face Base as my primer a lot recently I've heard good things about the Illamasqua primer so I thought I'd give this a go because obviously I like the Bobbi Brown one, especially in the winter, but I think in the summer when we start, to, when I start to sweat with my pain sweats and morphine sweats and heat outside sweats, I don't think that's going to be ideal because it's, it's a heavier primer. It, it's almost more like a, it's almost like a, a, a nighttime moisturiser to be honest. So I've got this to try, see if that will help hold my makeup on. I picked up some Colourpop Super Shop Shadows. Say that quick. And I'm going to put them on Hubby's arm. Oh, okay. Here's an arm. Thank you, darling. This one is Tankini. Oops, Tankini. There you go. Gorgeous yellow. Mm -hmm. Always remember to screw the tops back on on those because they will dry out like a son of a son of a bitch. Like a summer beach. Yeah, <laughs> like a summer beach. This one is a fruit punch, which is a rather nice citrusy green. I think they can see that. Oh, nearly there with this one. Nearly. Oh, good. Then I have So Quiche. Which is a sort of bronzy, goldy, greeny, mishy mashy, but I reckon it's going to look nice. I like using these as a one, one stop shadow, basically, just all over the eye. Um, this one I picked up is called Rose Garden and of course um, I will be doing a Pantone Colour of the Year film soon and this will be featuring in it because it is a periwinkle mm -hmm. and then this one is Bay, B-A-E
and this is a really nice deep plum with like a cerise shifty bit to it. Oh, thank you, my darling. That and that's Colourpop. Oh, they can go Colourpop. Have you got more Colourpop? Uh, yes, the teal palette, the high tide palette. High tide palette. I think it's all very good. Right. You're right there, love. Mm, I've bent my foot since I'm not out to have a look. Alright, just put it anywhere then and we'll sort it out later. Yeah, yeah, just sort it out. Um, I picked up a couple of the Beauty Bay palettes. They, they did a line where they did a nine pan, sixteen pan, and then I think a thirty-five pan or twenty-five pan in three different colourways. This is the Midnight colourway. Again, you know, if you're wanting to do periwinkle looks, got some options here, um, and I'm, I'm really liking. The Beauty Bay formula. Darling. Oh, sorry, yeah, gone. He's getting hungry. Oh, I didn't warn you there was a lot here. Oh, well, yeah. I think you can. Oh. And then you knew I was going to pick up the green one. This is Earthy, which looks like that. Um, I also picked up one of their brush up brows um, to try. Obviously, I, I I really like my pink honey for my brows, but this is a a clear one, which is meant to be a rival to the Anastasia Freeze Hold. We'll see. Gerard Cosmetics bits because obviously I am a Gerard Cosmetics affiliate which means I have a discount code I have a link which if you use that um, and buy something which doesn't need a discount code I still get the link through that you came through me um, and because of that every so often they'll give you X amount to spend in the shop to show off new things so I got myself a little mini setting spray in Mango. These are great, girls and guys, and those who are indeterminate, um, for keeping in your handbag in the summer. When they're empty, refill them with another one. Really great, not just to refresh your makeup, but also as a cool down when it's really hot. Just quick spritz of that, flick of a fan. You're going to feel so much more comfortable, I promise you. Uh, a Colour Your Smile Lip Gloss in shade a Bermuda. Which I picked up because it's periwinkle. And obviously, if I'm going to be doing a periwinkle colour of the year film I'm going to want as much periwinkle on my face as possible uh, this is a Hydra Matte in shade Sun Loving Have Me a Blast Ooh, Hot Pink okay, that way. Yeah. Cool. And then I've got three oh. lipsticks. I have a glitter lipstick in DM Me, which is kind of periwinkle ish, I suppose. That's the smallest of the three boxes. Alright, so well, they haven't got much in them, then. No, they're good. Chill, baby, chill. Oh, you know what, you're getting grumpy. 
This lipstick in shade Lilac Moon. You can probably guess the colour before I even roll it up. Obviously I got that because I'm going to be using it in my Pantone Colour of the Year film. And I have got a lipstick in shade Grape Soda. Which is matches my wig. I was getting happy to guess what colour lipstick I was going to put on and he did guess purple initially. Yeah, I had a, I thought it might match. Yeah. I rocked it old school, put the red out. Right, there you go. Right, final box. Oh. Thank you. After Will bought me the Sigma Ivy palette from their Nine Pants, um, I A loved the formula and B loved the blendability and the colours. So I picked up Hazy, which is the sort of mauvey taupey version. So that's Sigma Ivy. I'd heard a lot of good things about this NARS, this new NARS foundation, the soft matte, which is meant to give you the same kind of coverage as uh, your Estee Lauder Double Wear and all that lot, but not be so heavy on the skin. So I picked this up because there are times when, you know, if my skin's having a flare up, because of pain and everything and because of stress that I have a lot of unwelcome visitors on my face um, and a fuller coverage foundation is what I need this is in shade Mont Blanc Light 2 in case you were wondering I bought from a girl on Depop she was selling it was officially termed a crap ton of brushes, including uh, these ones from Double X Revolution, this one from Revolution, Vol Voldemorphy, Primani. These are Revolution ones with like hundreds and thousands and sweeties in the handles, they're cute. This is the Revolution Roxy, another Revolution one, more Roxy ones, another one with a thingy in, and then these do colour bright yellow luminous ones. So Obviously, although she said she's cleaned them all, I'm going to clean them before I use them. That's why I've kept those in that particular bag, whereas the rest I've put out loose. Right, okay. Um, I picked up a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in shade... Oh, Epic, which is that sort of forest green. Can you believe my Cup Geek have gone to the wall? Well, mm, it's weird because they've been around for a long time, but they really were pricing themselves out of the market. Got to be honest there. You know, they were, to my mind anyway, not worth the money they were asking. I uh, picked up another five pan Natasha Denona Mini Sunset. Mm. 
Oh, I can have a colour pop one. Mm. The orchid you not. So the kind of black currenty as opposed to the sort of pinky red, this is more your bluey reds and your berries. So that would be really nice come sort of autumn and winter. Hi. Yeah, hang on, sorry. Sorted. Uh, orchid colour pop. This is a colour pop Hello Kitty blush. Look how cute that is. It's got a Hello Kitty nose in it. Um, looking at it, it resembles, to me at least, Nars Orgasm. I will do a swatch off with those at some point in the future <coughs> and let you know whether or not it is a dupe. Continuing on with Glam Light, Street Taco, which is quite appropriate since though yesterday was Saco de Mayo. So that's the Street Taco palette. And Hubby has just bought me for my birthday because the palette I wanted is still out of stock. He's just bought me the Dirty Martini palette from Glad Light. I'm so excited. Um, v Cosmetics, another brand that I have a um, discount code with but that I don't earn from. This is her Green Witch palette. So lovely. I know I've got a lot of green palettes. At some point, once the Dirty Martini palette arrives, and I've used them all, don't I? Oh, sorry. It's here. Yeah. Um, I will get all of my green palettes together and, and rank them um, in order of preference as far as I'm concerned. Um, pop that in the red box please. Red box is gone. Uh, Colourpop Luxe Gloss in shade Check-In which is a really nice sort of mauve shade. Again very much my style. I'd also heard a lot of good things about the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty line. So I picked up, again from Depop, someone had bought, bought it and had got the wrong shade. I've got 120C. This is their foundation. So I've got a couple of new foundations to try. And then my Pied de Resistance. I have been looking to get hold of this palette since it came out because I couldn't get it on release. When I've seen it for sale, like with the Melt ones, ridiculous pricing. However, found someone on Depop. The Sugar Pop, Edward Scissorhands, 25th Anniversary Palette, yay! Super, super excited about that, so obviously I will be playing with it. I don't care if it's beyond its technical use date. What I do with all of mine is I spritz them with isopropyl alcohol before I put them away after I've used them and so far, touching wood it's kept mine really in good nick so right, okay, that's it oh. for now um, like I said, huge great haul sorry it's been so long since I've been back um, I hope you liked it. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button for me. Uh, if you didn't like it, hit the unlike button, but grab a pair and tell me why you didn't like it. Dare you. Go on. Dare you. 
Uh, double check you're still subscribed because YouTube do keep unsubscribing people and where I've not had a film up for a while, well, there's probably been quite a few of you that have been chopped off without realising. That sounds painful, doesn't it? And while you're there, double check your notification status as well. Mine keeps getting knocked back to... Um, What is it? it? Keeps getting knocked back from all to. It's not random, but it's something like that. My brain has officially left the building. Um, so, not just with my channel, double check it with everybody's channel because you'll probably find that uh, if you're not getting notifications through, that's why. Um, like I said, awesome if you could hit that like button for me. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is the sort of nutting you're going to get from me. The, the brain wanders off and comes back, usually before the end of the film, but not always. <clears throat> uh, and I will normally be showing you how to apply makeup as well. But if you've enjoyed this, it would be awesome if you'd like to join the 4F Beauty family. All you have to do, hit that like button, turn it from a red, no, yes, red to grey. And then you can ring my bell, ring my bell. And choose all notifications in the hope that YouTube will actually send them to you. In the meantime, I've got an awful lot of other films you can watch. Um, I've got other haul videos, I've got makeup tutorials, I've got collabs, challenges, tag films. I even read you my favourite poem in one of them. So, there we go. That's probably enough from me for now. So, hope you've enjoyed this. If you were uh, you probably finished your drink and your snack by now, so go get yourself another one. You deserve it. You've sat through this, you've listened to me witter on, and you've done very well indeed. I'm very impressed. Thank you so much. If you made it to the end here, pop your favourite emoji in the comments for me. Or the emoji you've used most this year. Or both. Right, my wonderful assistant here. Hello, hello. He's getting tired, bless him. So I think it's time to go and feed the husband before he turns into a rabid beast. <coughs> which I personally would enjoy. Uh, shh. Sorry, I'll turn into a rabid beast. I, I could have put some toothpaste in my mouth just to look crazier. Oh dear. <laughs> have a good one. Mm. And remember, stay fabulous. Mm -hmm. And I... Possibly even he. We'll see you Ooh. next time. Yay. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Dramatic exit. Sorry. <laughs> see you in the next one. <laughs>